Hey, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random. Today, we're going to be looking at the Bug Bite Holster. Some would say the second most important thing to actually buying the gun itself is buying a good holster, and I would absolutely agree. Today, we're going to be looking at an ankle rigging system for a backup gun. Most police and law enforcement that I know use an ankle holster as their backup. But over time, the classic systems tend to wear out, break down, and leave the gun unsecure. Will this $40 system prove to be more reliable, or will it fall through the cracks? Let's find out. Now, this is the Bug Bite holster that I ordered. I ordered it from Pete's Holsters, and you know what? It came extremely fast. I live in Alaska. It got here within maybe two or three days. So it was a whole week ahead of time, and I was very pleased with that. Now, this is a four-way stretch fabric and basically works as a compression sleeve over your entire calf. Has a holster for a subcompact gun. It seems a little bit big to begin with. However, I know that once my leg is filling this entire compression sleeve, it's probably going to give a little bit of uh, tension there. Has rubberized grip dots in the inside, and other than that, that's the only thing that holds it in. This concerns me. However, we'll get into that a little bit later. Has a spare magazine pouch has an adjustable calf strap right here, and then it has a zipper that allows your leg to go in and then zip compression fit over your entire leg. Now there are those little rubberized grip dots on the entire inside of this, meaning hopefully once it's on, it's gonna remain secure to the leg. Now let's compare this to a classic holster. Now this is the classic formed leather holster ankle style that everybody wears. Now this is very secure when it comes to holding in your actual gun. It has a retention strap along the back that buckles. Now, this right here is good for two reasons. It's good because it sits lower down the ankle, and it's good because the gun is completely secure. The bad thing is, over time, this hook and loop system, you can see how easily it comes on and off. Now, if you're in a knockdown, drag out fight with someone, the last thing you want to have to worry about is if your backup gun is secure on your leg, which is why I like this idea. The compression style, you have to slide it over like a sock and then it adheres and adjusts to your actual leg, which means the gun may come out, but the holster isn't going to be ripped off. Now let's actually put it on the leg and test it out. Now the first one we're going to do is just a classic ankle style holster. It just straps on single hook and loop around the ankle over the boot. Now this is fine and it's basic and it's easy. It secures the gun, but over time the material tends to stretch out and it tends to rotate around your ankle. Now to combat this, a lot of times what people will do is what I'm about to show you and that is they take it off and they put it over the boot and the ankle at the same time. It gives it a little more material to grab onto so it doesn't spin. The issue with that is it puts more pressure on the material so it stretches out faster. Also, it has that single hook and loop and it could be caught on a fence and rip off. Now it does make the pant leg easy to go over it. And this is why a lot of people choose this style. It's comfortable, it gives a little less maneuverability on the ankle, but the gun is secure and it's easy to access. Like I said before, the Bug Bite holster is more of a compression sock. So it only goes over the entire foot and straps down to the leg. So with this style, it makes it guaranteed that the holster itself is not going to rip off. So it's kind of tight and snug. It has the top tensioner strap for your calf. You zip down the bottom and then it secures to your leg very snugly. In fact, I was surprised just how snug it actually fit. My recommendation with this is to make sure you measure your calf correctly. Now I'm using a Glock 43 subcompact and it actually fit quite nicely inside the holster. My issue with this is pulling the pant leg over it. Now unlike the ankle holster, the pant leg is a little more difficult to go over because the gun is no longer sitting down on your ankle but it's sitting up on the meaty part of your calf. Honestly, the holster is extremely comfortable. I had very little issues in wearing it for an entire day when I was testing it. And honestly, the only issue that I have is that it prints on the inside of your calf. So you can easily see it through the pant leg and you can see that there's a gun there and a holster. Other than that, it was extremely comfortable the entire time. 
The biggest concern I had when I first observed this holster was the fact that I was afraid that the gun would fall out of the holster itself. Well, even during the testing process, the gun didn't budge once inside the holster. In fact, I was very surprised how well those actual rubber grips adhered to the gun and caused it to stick inside the holster along with the pressure from my calf itself. And then the quality for the price is just absolutely unbeatable. It really is. Now my overall impression of the Bug Bite holster is extremely positive. I would recommend it to any one of my friends or colleagues who wants to try something different than that classic style ankle holster they've been wearing in the past. There's going to be a link below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. If you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment in the comment section of what you would like to see me review next. And if you're interested in possibly winning the Bug Bite holster, check out the subscriber giveaway in the description box below. Until next time.